questions, I would like to invite uh, Dr. Sharat uh, Babu to speak on uh, trifocals for presbyopia correction. Yeah, good morning, uh, all. So uh, today I'm going to discuss about the presbyopia correction with trifocals, which I've been doing from very long time. And uh, uh, why trifocals? This because now the need for the uh, use on the computers and the mobile or the tablets, the need has increased. So there is a rapid shift like uh, the earlier we were doing the bifocals, but now there is a need for the trifocals, so that is the intermediate vision has become uh, more important in everybody's life. <clears throat> so the, the routine near vision is 40 centimeters, the intermediate goes from between 40 to 80 centimeters. And the bifocals, what we were, uh, IOLs, what we were using was uh, there for the distance and for the near, that is 40 centimeters early, but now the range of uh, vision what uh, everybody requires is between 40 to 80 centimeters and that's what uh, Dr. Kutli is talking about the uh, enhanced mono vision for the intermediate vision. So uh, when the, uh, this is the trifocal technology as I was uh, uh, discussing like there is a first generation, the second generation and the second generation they have the up to 80 centimeters, not only 60, up to 80 centimeters. So the different trifocals in the market which I've been using is the Panoptics, the Optiflex from the Biotech, the Acriva Trinova, and the latest one is the Vivinex Geometric and Geometric Plus. So in, in our experience, what we found out is it's the first the material and the make and how it is being uh, uh, planned. So the Panoptics, it is the most popular one what we have been using. It's the amount of uh, uh, the light which goes into the the transmission, that's what is, uh, we say, that is what is more important, uh, which gives the uh, clear vision in the daytime and in the night, both mesopic and uh, photopic vision. So it's 88% of the vision, and it's the sizes are the same, 13 mm, 6 mm, and the low incidence of tilt, but that all depends upon how you give the CCC and uh, the placement of the eye oil. So the intermediate vision is, as I was talking, the near point is 42 and 62 centimeters, and it is uh, pupil independent. The reason is they, they have made it uh, so well that uh, it features a 4.5 mm diffractive zone, and they found out the diffractive zone of 4.5 mm is ideal uh, for everyone to have a good vision for both distance and intermediate and near. And as uh, the discussion is, the Clarion Panoptics Trifocal is the latest. The material is uh, the hydroxyethyl methacrylate, which has been incorporated, and it gives no uh, glistenings in the eye well like previous the IQ lens. So this is the latest material which uh, most of the eye oils companies have come out with and their uh, results are really good. And uh, it has got uh, the tauric component also. The anterior surface is aspheric diffractive and the posterior, even the tauric is on the posterior side. Uh, the exceptional highlight utilization is the key and the colors what uh, the patient sees are the true colors. I've implanted my sister and one eye with the other uh, uh, eye well, the symphony, the second eye I implanted this uh, panoptics and she sees the true colors with the panoptics and uh, uh, this is more suitable for the software professionals and in the recent uh, past we have been doing the clear lens extractions for the young uh, the professionals where we couldn't do the refractive surgeries, uh, the, the, the corneal surgeries and uh, the results are uh, exceptionally well appreciated by them. And in their, my experience, it is the uh, few experience of dysphotopus in the first few months, but after that, they are fine. And I'll skip the surgery. We'll go to the next eye oil. That's the Biotech Optiflex. This is, again, an eye oil with the equal uh, uh, competent uh, technology. It has got the aspheric uh, and the tauric on the uh, posterior and the diffractive surface and the anterior. And uh, the near vision and uh, distance are more uh, very good for uh, the near vision is 3.5. And this eye oil is the most popular eye oil for the people who have a lot of reading. And uh, the light distribution is 45% far, intermediate 27, 28. And uh, in our experience, we, uh, we recommend this eye oil for all the teachers and for all the people who have a lot of uh, reading, uh, 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 reading habits. And the next one is the Acreva Trinova. It is a sinusoidal eye oil. The steps are more smooth. And, uh, the, um, and the MTF results are really good and even a little bit of astic medicine up to one diopter or 1.25 diopter also, the vision is good for both distance, intermediate and near. 
and I am skipping the because lack of the uh, time. And it's the Vivinex. This is what the geometric and the geometric plus, which has been introduced recently. They have got two lenses of similar thing, both for distance and near and intermediate vision. But the geometric plus is we use that for the most of the near vision, who has got a most of the reading habits, and because it has it takes the uh, more of light transmission is more for near in this eye oil. So we can mix, uh, mix and match in both eyes, one in each eye or we can do depending upon the profession. We keep changing the uh, eye oil but it's the diffractive uh, part is only 3.2 mm and it is very good in a 3 mm pupil size and uh, the results are yet to be known because we just started and after six months we will be having uh, the clear cut uh, uh, advantage of these eye oils in the different population. And uh, the last one is Synergy. I have less much uh, less experience with this, uh, but my experience uh, with this eye oil is not that good because of the uh, most of my patients in the initial stages, uh, near vision is not that good. So, uh, but it's an extended depth of focus eye oils. A few of them are really good for the people who have a uh, lot of uh, uh, work for the distance and intermediate vision. And it's got uh, different uh, properties. That is the uh, the diffractive part in the posterior side. It's a breakthrough technology, and of course I'm skipping the thing. And uh, the most common things what we encounter is the dysphotopias, positive and the negative dysphotopias, and the halos, and which we should be very careful uh, while implanting the eye oil. We need to have a lot of chair time um, with the patient, and then understand what exactly they do. And uh, night driving is one thing we should ask very clearly. We, we don't know which patients experience all this. So we avoid this uh, 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 trifocals for these patients and then go for the extended depth of focus eye oils. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.